In this video we're going to look at total probability and Bayes' theorem. First let's look at total probability. Uh, when we develop t total probability we first start with a partition. Uh, if you've looked at the other videos we've already talked about partitions. But a partition is a group of sets so that in this case we'll label them B1, B2 through B sub N and each one of these sets are disjoint or mutually exclusive with all of the other sets. So if we take two sets together, B sub M and B sub N, and we take their intersection, we get the null set. And also if we take the union of all of them, we get our sample space. So if you look at the Venn diagram over here, I've got five sets, B1 through B5, and they all are partitioned into the sample space so they all make up the sample space and there's nothing in common between them. Now the total probability says that suppose we have this other set A then we can find the probability of A by looking at each of these individual sections that overlap with the other um, sets in the partition. And so it's equal to the sum of all of these probabilities, these um, conditional probabilities, times their individual probability of occurring. So we have probability of A given, let's say if we had those five, probability of A given B1 times the probability of B1 occurring, plus the probability of A given B2 times the probability of B2 occurring, and so on. So basically sum all of those up. Some of them, the intersections will be zero. So for instance, B1 doesn't inter intersect with A, but the the sum of all those intersections times their individual probabilities will give us the probability of A occurring. And I just showed you here real quick a A intersect B4 is just that that small section there. And why do I look at the intersection? Remember the intersection probability of A intersect B or let's say A intersect B4 is equal to the probability of A given B4 times the probability of B4. And that's just one of the sections or one of the items that we'd have in this summation. Alright, so let's look at an example. Uh, we've seen examples like this one before in our other, other videos. But let's suppose we have a factory that has three machines that make all the parts in that factory. And those machines are A, B, and C and they make up the parts that are being made 20 percent from A, 30 percent from B, and 50 percent from C. So you'll notice that those add up to 100 percent. Those are all the machines making all of the parts and so therefore those three machines make up our partition. Now of the parts that A makes, 6 percent are defects. And of the parts that B make, 7% are defects. And parts that C make, 8% are defects. All right, so how do we write this information? Well, probability of A occurring, or probability that A made a particular part is 20%, so 0.2. B is 0.3, and C is 0.5. <clears throat> now, these other probabilities we write as the for the defects. Probability of having a defect given A made the part is 6%, 0.06. Probability that a, a part is defect, defective given B made the part is 0.7 and probability of being a defect given C made the part is 0.08. I think I said 0.7 but 0.07. So A and B form a partition and these are the, in, um, the conditional probabilities for our other set D or defective for all those partitions, partition sets. So now suppose we want to find the probability that a part is defective. That's what we're going to try to find. Well based on total probability it'll be that summation that we had on the previous slide. So it'll be the probability of D given A times the probability of A plus the probability of D given B times the probability of B plus the probability of D given C times the probability of C. So notice that we're, we're summing over that partition. 
So m putting those values in, we've already said what all of them are, and I'm not going to repeat them. You can see them all here. We just plug those values in and sum them all up, and we end up with 0 0.073 or 7.3% 7 7 that a random part will be a defect. All right, Bayes' theorem, <clears throat> we are again given that same partition and just to make things simpler I'm going to use the same partition and so we have B1 through BN are the partition sets. Now Bayes' theorem is just states that suppose we wanted to find the probability that probability of one of those partition items or events occurring given that other event A. Well we know that using our rules that we've already seen that that'll be equal to the probability of A intersect B sub N over probability of A. Remember the A here corresponds to the A here. And so we know that also we can write this as the probability of well the top part we can write as a as a conditional probability and so we have the probability of A given B sub N times the probability B sub N over probability of A. Alright so that's really Bayes theorem there that top part but we can also use the the total probability that we found um, or that we saw on the previous slides for this bottom part probability of A and so we have just the sum of those probabilities on the bottom here to get the probability of A that we had from the total probability and so we'll notice that we're only using these conditional probabilities to find to find this probability all right, so let's look at not that same example. Let's continue continue that same example where we had those three machines and their probabilities of defects. So suppose we had another question that said, if a part is found defective, what is the probability that C made it or the machine C made it? So that we can write that as a conditional probability. The probability that C made the part given the part was defective, D. Based on Bayes' theorem, we can write it as the probability of D given C times the probability of C over the probability of D. And get based on the given information, we found the probability of D using total probability. And I just went ahead and write it, wrote it down here, but that's what we found on the previous problem for the probability of D. And so we we already know these top items we had those written on the previous part also. So we just plug those in. Probability of D given C, probability of defect given C made it is 0 0.08. The probability that C made a part is 0.5, 50%. And then we had that total probability for the probability of D on the bottom, which was 0 0.073. And after plugging those in, we end up with 0.55 or 55%.